Okay. All right. Three, two, one, go. All right. Who's going to start first? Bagler going first, then I booba. So like I said, guys, we're going to have a pretty passive, um, pretty passive calm commentary here. Uh, for this, I'll be reading chat, probably answering questions, uh, joining you guys for the hangout as we watch these two runners fight for the third place cash. 200 bucks! 200 bucks on the line. 200 bucks for playing Mario 3. Not bad. Not bad at all. Ooh, Ibuba's slipping up a little bit. I think Ibuba's behind by maybe a second or two. You look at the timers. All right, let's see. Bagler is going to hit the card at a 48, and Booba's going to hit the card at a 48 as well. I think I think Booba's a little bit ahead. Ooh, Bagler getting a little... Ooh, very nice from both of our runners, grabbing that early lead. We could have an insane round match third place game going on here. Yeah, that's right, round match third place. Nice, both getting movements of one. Here we go, first point. What do we got? Oh, Bagler gets MFP. Oh my god! That is the first time in this tournament. Both runners get MFP tunnel. First time this season. That's amazing. Spam those tunnels, guys. Spam those tunnels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 333 bits for the tunnels. Wow, I think they got the exact same Hammer Brother movements the entire world. That's hilarious. All right, Team Mid-Chest, right? Come on, Team Mid-Chest. Oh, Team Mid-Chest has failed us, guys. The Bagler getting the pocket point. Yo, you guys got to give some GG's out to iBooba and the Bagler for scheduling this race literally in less than 24 hours, which is amazing. They wanted to get it done and out of the way. That's right. They are like in the exact same spot on the screen, right? Or am I crazy? Yeah, man, they're in the exact same spot. They're gonna enter the pipe at the same time, watch. Very close. Jeez. Watch, King King grabs the one on Baglers at 4... 4.05 and 4.03, so Booba is ahead by two seconds right now. Oh yeah, oh yeah. All right, World 2. So we're gonna, we're gonna scroll the cards down because these runners, you know, everyone goes for the spade card game. I wonder what it's like to be a points runner. Like, do you think they have like a, an, an additional tab open with like the spade card games? Or do you think some people have a printed out sheet? I mean, what? I think I would just have an extra tab open. I think I would just have an extra tab open. 
You just have it memorized, Teeks? Very nice. Oh, they got two different cards. Ten bucks for Booba, ten bucks for Bagler. The Bagler's out of there, though! A spade card for both. Oh, what about Throne Jump? Did they get the Throne Jump in World 1? Alright, no moat! Man, these runners are close. I just got lost in the game for a couple minutes there. All right, here we go. Red rocket from both of our runners. This next point that they could get. Oh, the bagler. I think that happened to either Teeks or Booba last night. I'm not too sure. Happened to one of them last night, but Booba's gonna get that extra point. Booba getting that extra point. The race for first place, type exclamation tournament and check the calendar. It's gonna be next Saturday. Bagler getting a marathon. And it's the hammer. And it moved backwards. Both runners, Hammer Brothers move backwards and both runners. Got what? Both runners got post two three. What? Don't go for it though. Don't do it. Okay, thank goodness. What just happened? How did both runners just get post two three? <laughs> Playing the same seed, right? Oh my gosh, they both got a backwards moving bro as well. All right, here we go. Bagler gonna go up, Booba gonna go down. Oh my gosh. <laughs> no, don't do the early hit. No, it's a waste. Oh, the Bagless move forward! Booba, oh, wow, they both move forward for both our runners here. All right, neither runner is taking damage yet, though, so this is good. All right, off to the pyramid. In 23, the Bagler is ahead by one second. No more to tears. All right, let's move. Oh, what happened to the Bagler there? He must have, um... So did I booba get world one throne jump? Bagler did not. So did I booba get world one throne jump? That's what we need to know here. We need to know if I booba got world one throne jump. That's very important. So early hammer is a bad idea in this instance because most runners put the Hammer Brothers in World 3 to sleep so that they don't get the Star Bro and lose the point there. Um, and when you put the Hammer Brothers to sleep in World 3, you don't get the Hammer from World 3. So if you use the Hammer in World 2 and then you skip the Hammer in World 3, you're going to have to do... Um, 
you're gonna have to do four fortress one, so that's an extra level, and then you're gonna have to do six one and six three, so that's three extra levels, and the early hammer skips you two levels, so that's still ultimately slower. Ah, oh, so neither runner is in the throne jump game. Damn. Rough. Rough, rough, rough. Yeah, so in Warpless, you need two hammers. One in World 4 and one at the start of World 6. Yeah, Teeks, why didn't you go for door, door 3 in our uh, Warpless race today, huh? Could have been one second ahead going into World 8. Wait, who is ahead going into World 8, me or you? I think I was, right? Because of your 7-6. Who's in the finals? It is Teeks versus Feropen. Yeah, so <laughs> the funny thing, Teeks, is when you said that 7-6 took you seven or eight tries, that's why I decided to not do crazy hard strats in the fortress for World 7. Because like I'm I hadn't practiced much, I was a little scared. Neither runner getting the throat or the uh the first frame jump and 3-1 there. Yeah, I was watching boys. So yeah, I did Star Strat because I'm, I'm a little under practice, so I was a little nervous, but like also I knew it was coming down to the hands. So I knew not to like overstress. Super Compromise Bros 3. Hey Mitch, when is the finals? Uh, have you checked the calendar? Calendar's normally uh, pretty up to date. Exclamation tournament! Uh, the finals are on Saturday. Ooh, Bangler falling in. Not the same moat, a different one. Um, luckily, he's not going to lose a point there. Oh, he just makes it very nice. He, he needs to make sure he doesn't lose Fire Flower here. It's very important. No runaway for Booba. Oh, Bagler falling down. Okay, he makes it. You know, I haven't seen I haven't seen Bagler live in a couple days. Uh, after he lost, uh, got kicked out in the tournament, did he take like a couple day break from SMB3? All right, they're both very close to Runaway right here. He went on a bender, yeah. He was in a fueled, drunken rage. Oh, no Runaway for Booba. Oh, Booba going for door four. Oh, and he doesn't get it. Now, if Bagler skips door four, He'll gain some good time on him. And Bagler also gets Runaway Bro. Oh man, Bagler catches up so much here and is taking the lead with the points. Wow. All right, looks like Boob's gonna have to use a music box here. Uh, Bagler is so far not, ooh. Bagler is in a great position here to not have to use a music box. <laughs> yep, no music box. Wow, and these runners are neck and neck right now. Look at this. Booba in the lead, though. We're going to move on to Booba's audio here. Yeah, Bagler also has the leaf. That's right. That's right, he does. Then I'm done. Oh, who got a fan? Booba got a fanfare. What? Wow. Um, and as you guys can see, uh, getting a three flower fanfare doesn't actually lose you much time. Uh, there's a lot of runners out there who are quick to reset when they get a fanfare, but a star fanfare with three stars loses you probably over three seconds, but um, a mushroom and flower fanfare are the exact same time. Same in-game timer counts down. 
And that is a little over a second, maybe. So that's a movement of three. It's crazy. You could actually get three fanfares with flowers and get all movements of one in a world, and you'll probably finish the world at the same time, right? Isn't that messed up, guys? Right? Isn't that, isn't that weird to think about, right? You could get, so let's say in world five, let's say in world five, you get three mushroom fanfares um, and you get like six movements of one. You'll probably not lose any time in that world. That is crazy. But if you get a three star fanfare, then you will be losing time. No, fanfare... No, well, mushroom and flower fanfares are not that bad for time. Uh, but the star's pretty rough. You don't want the star fanfare. <laughs> Nine seconds? No. No, no, no. No, mushroom flower fanfare is like a movement of three. Triple star is rough. All right, right on. Neither runner lost their fire flower. Very nice. Look at that world three for Bagler. Very nice. After having a very unfortunate um, three, two. Bagler definitely turned it around here. All right, moving on to world four. All right, here we go. All right, they're gonna have to go for the bottom, bottom section P speed here if they wanna get an extra point. Very nice from both of our runners. Very nice. Better if, I think it's better if we have the trackers like this, so people can, like, see. Yeah, I'm gonna do it like this from now on. Wow, way to, way to, way to Cosmic Brain the points at the end of the tournament. Good job, Mitch. Oh! Bagler getting that weird fish. No marathon from either runner. Close. Not a single RNG point and a fanfare. That's what Ibuba said. I, you know, I feel I feel for you, Ibuba. In my warpless race today, I got three extra bros. It's, it's so silly. All right, Booba gonna use a star here. I assume Bagler is also gonna use a star as well. Maybe not, another movement of four for Bagler. Ooh, that's why we use a star, ladies and gentlemen. That's why we use a star. Oh, Bagler takes the hit, unfortunate. Oh, he's gonna have to take the damage again. Oh, man. All right, so what's gonna happen here? How are they gonna do this? Another movement of four, but that's pretty good as long as you can get the cloud, right? That's not bad. Oh my god, the same movement. It's like Mario 3 knows that it's the finals and semifinals and third place mat. Like, it's crazy. Alright, moving to two there for Bagler, so he's not going to be able to get the marathon. I don't think either runner is going to get the marathon at this point.
No marathon, gonna use this music box. Very nice. All right. It's time for the duck jumps. Oh, Bagler getting boxless. All right, Ibuba gets it. Ooh, Bagler, that was way too close. Very nice, both runners getting it. No really peace be for Ibuba, unfortunately. Wow, Bagler gets boxless world uh, world four. Which means Bagler do doesn't have to go for 5-1, which means he can save his P-Wing, which I would highly recommend him do. But then again, uh, this season kind of caters around 5-1 music box. It's not like he's going to use the P-Wing. It's not like he's going to use the P-Wing for 6-9 or 7-6 because he wants to get those points, so... But he could use it somewhere else. Alright, fastest and most awesome auto-scroller. That's true, Teeks. Regardless, the Bagler, I mean, yeah, but what if Bagler, oh, Bagler probably doesn't know 5-2 uh, Shaft without using a Leaf, so he probably is still gonna P-Wing 5-1. He's probably still gonna do it. And then have the extra music box in World 6, JIC, right? Oh wait, no, he'll have two extra music boxes. Oh man. Yeah, I don't know, but getting boxes in World 4 only opens up doorways for, like, better things, not worse things. So, like, I don't see how Bagler could mess this up, right? I mean, if he doesn't change anything, he just walks away with an extra music box after everything. No, man, if I did a points run, I don't think I would get a lot of points. I don't have the spade card memorized. Um, I haven't cracked this or played around with the wall jump manipulation. There's a bunch of stuff. <laughs> God, this ship is so damn slow, right? Going for the off-screen wand grab. Very nice. All right, entering world four. Or sorry, world five. No lifelines either. No lifelines either. They're so close to each other. Yeah. <laughs> so after this level, Bagler is going to have three music boxes in his inventory. He's going to have all the inventories. Three music boxes. That looks so weird to see both the Marios, like, falling. Ooh, Ibuba had an unfortunate jump there at the start, I think. 
Nice, Ibube is gonna nail it. Bagler with the 283, why? Oh, I, he had to have been one frame from getting that. I think Ibuba just got, no, Ibuba got a movement of two, right? No movements of four from anyone yet. Ah, that was a movement of three. So if he got a movement of three there, then it's impossible for him to have to have gotten a movement of four. Oh, ba so Bagler could skip this music box. Ooh, Bagler could take the lead here by skipping a hammer, brother. Almost kept P speed there. All right, no coin shipped, good. All right, this is the part of the of the race that I always get nervous at. Oh, and there it is. That's exactly what I booba needed. They are now tied back up. And Ibuba is going to go for early P-Speed, and he gets it. And I know that Bagler does the same kind of P-Speed as well. Very nice. Oh, imagine he got the fanfare again. Holy crap. The double fanfare in his race. That's a movement of four for Booba. Oh, and Bagler gets early P speed as well. Very nice for Bagler. That's how I want to see the level done. Oh, that's so unfortunate. Bagler could have skipped this bro. He's back up to three music boxes again, guys. He's got all the music boxes. All of them. It's a good thing he got P-Speed back there. I was... Like, he jumped as if he knew he got P-Speed, but I, I definitely would have utilized the whole ground there, for sure. Bum, 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 bum. Uh, I don't... I think that was still only two movements of four there. That was only two movements of four. <laughs> Ibuba should go beat level six to try and get a point. One last chance for a movement of four. No, oh, they're moving to two. All right, very nice. I mean, 5-7 is pretty easy, 
old man beardy locks if you already enter with fire flower but if you don't it gets pretty tough Yo, uh, Luke Force, you should check out yesterday's match, Ibuba versus Teeks. That one's even more insane. Nice, they're done their auto scrollers. Move on to world yikes. All right, high versus low. All right, so Ibuba's first is High Pattern. And Bagler is going to get High Pattern as well. Very nice. Two High Patterns, very easy to remember. Oh, thanks guys. Thank you very much. Today I'm a little, I'm a little bit quieter. Um, not because the match is anything underwhelming, which it's not. They are completely tied right now and this is insane. I'm just trying to let my lungs have a little bit of a rest. Uh, the last two days have been pretty tight on them, so. That's what she thinks. No early P speed for Ibuba. Bagler still a little bit behind. But again, Bagler does have an extra point in his pocket here, so it's technically 11 to 12 for Bagler. Alright, here we go. Gotta make sure he doesn't take damage, but if he does, Bagler's definitely gonna catch up a little bit, and then he's looking pretty good. Yeah. All right, Bagler does not want that hammer, brother. Ooh, the double despawn. He's losing actually a couple frames there. All right, Ibu's gonna have to get the top. Hammer brother. Oh, and he gets low pattern. There you go. Ibuba's first RNG point. Ibuba's first RNG point. However, if the hammer brother moves up, which it did not, very nice for him. Just like that, Ibuba is in a pretty good spot. Bagler, God, not gonna get that RNG point. Bagler is also in second place, so it's 13 to 10 right now. Um. Wait, where are we? But Bagler got no inventory stars. And we don't get Bagler the leaf yet. I mean, he could forget to use it. That would, that would suck, but he could f forget. All right, let's see if he remembers. Oh my god, I thought he was gonna forget. Yo, the three music boxes. All right, here we go. Ibuba gonna go for the wall jump, first try. Oh, ooh, this is it, man. Bagler could catch up. 
I think Bagler's gonna lose some time here because I think he's gonna go into the pipe first. He's not. Oh, man. <gasps> wow! I want to scream, man. I, I want to yell, but I can't. That's insane. Oh, I can't yell and scream, but Bagley just caught up a lot, and they're back to being tied. Bagler not equipping anything. I think he's going to grab this mushroom here, right? Hi, Booba not getting his patented clip, man. The Booba clip. Oh, Bagler also not getting it. <laughs> I just went full Owen. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't somebody get banned from GDQ because they, like, wowed too much? <laughs> uh, please don't equip your Cloud Bagler. You definitely don't need to Cloud. Let's give them both a hundred bucks. A person got banned from GDQ for using a hat. No, I don't think they got banned for using the hat. I think they got banned because they were wearing a hat. And they were they were doing they were saying something that was not good. I know that. Oh, you're talking about Chibi, old man Beardy Locks? Yeah, it's a lot more complex than just wearing a hat, that's right. Fucking Chibi, that's right. Chibi! Chibi! That was during the Tomba run, that's right. Dude, I want Chibi on my couch. Didn't Chibi get caught cheating like two years later in uh, thousand Paper Mario Thousand Year Door? All right, World 7, let's go. Oh, Booba doesn't get a first try. Not second try. Not third try. Oh, Bagler's in. Bagler doesn't get a first try. Stands there in a fit of confusion. Oh, they both wall rubbed. Look at this sink. What? <laughs> this sink right now is crazy. Well, I mean, I'd prefer, yeah. I'd really prefer if you'd be quiet. I honestly am... 100% in favor for the I'd prefer it if you'd be quiet guy because like man that was the pretty crazy 7-1 there for both of our runners they, they were like input they were synced on their inputs there it's crazy People still piss off Caveman in his chat? Why? What, people come into his chat and say I'd prefer it if you'd be quiet? Dude, I, I would do it. <laughs> That's just so funny. He should know now, by now that like it's a meme to the point where like it's pretty funny. Um, he should definitely not be so... Um, uptight about that because it is a very... But like, I think people are on his side, right? They're just trying to joke around. 
But if that happened to my GDQ run, I'd be very, very upset. I'd probably... I He reacted way better than I would. I would have been pretty upset. Yes, but you can imagine seeing that every single day, multiple times a day. Bro, I've been streaming Mario 3 for like seven years. I still get asked about jumping for the wand being faster and slower. I get asked some of the same questions for the last like six years. Pipe to pipe, no punishment for me, the runner. Peen to peen, what? Well, is it? No, it's not faster to jump for the wand. <laughs> Do you dream about Mario 3? I've asked that quite a bit. All right, iBooba getting the 183, very nice. All right, back back to the clip game. So far, no bumps, I would have heard it. Oh, there we go, iBooba. I'd have to say that's one of the worst things. Anytime a Mario runner plays something not Mario, they're like, this is a weird looking hack. <laughs> like it's, that's like, how did mankind come up with the exact same joke for something like that? Every single person comes up with the same joke there. Nice, Bagler gets the 183, but does Bagler get first try here? No, he doesn't, very unfortunate behind by one point the clips are not working right now for Bagler he gets the chibi very nice the Bagler needs booba to bonk here the Bagler needs booba to bonk here Oh, very nice for Booba. All right, Bagler gonna get the hammer suit. Ah, uh, yes, that is a part of the game mechanics. All right. Oh, no bump. Very, very nice, World 7. Very, very nice, World 7. <laughs> yeah, you have enough music boxes, Bagley. You could probably equip one or two more. He should have just equipped all three, had that music going for a while. Oh, we almost got by that ghost. Very nice hammer suit strategies. Uh, I, you guys would know better. I don't know how far behind, uh, Bagler is. Looks like he's about half a minute behind. This world record with hammer suits, yes. And... No bumps. Very nice. Very nice. Alright. We're at the end. Uh, well, no, it wouldn't be four, it'd be three human mustard. If you use two music boxes, it would be for three turns. And then if you use three music boxes, it'd be four turns. I think. I think they stack. Honestly, I'm not, I'm not too sure, but I mean, stars stack. Everything else stacks in the game. Clouds don't stack, though. Clouds definitely don't stack. The first point in World 7 is not a point, it's a punishment. Stars stack in the game, yeah. Yeah, you can use two stars. Yeah, using two stars will only give you probably, I think, uh, two or three frames of extra star time, which is nothing. But 
Uh, the most stars that you can stack, I think, is 47 or something like It's a weird number. It's in the 40s, 40 and 50s, but if you stack about 40 or 50 stars together and enter a level, all the stars will start at the same time, and then you'll get this long, this long glitch sound. You'll get a long glitch sound with the star, and then the stars will start. Because all the starts, all the stars start one after another. It's weird. All right, entered at forty-five oh seven. We're just in auto scroller land right now, guys. Not a whole lot we got going on right now. These runners are still very close. We've already given Bagler the punishment for coming in second place. So, um, yeah, he's technically only one point behind. If they if they both get all the points in this world, then yeah, it's going to be a one point difference. No lifelines, though. What did I say? 4507? Forty-five oh seven. That's thirty seconds. Wow, he's only about thirty-three seconds behind. Thirty-four seconds behind. That's pretty good. Didn't Booba get double no hands on Friday? Did he? Who got double no hands? Oh no, that was for open. That's right. That was for open, not Booba. Double no hands. Oh, almost Ragnos for Booba. That would have been good. You got double no hands in the first round? Nice. Man, so many no hands this season. It's crazy. Most no hands I've seen in like any kind of Mario 3 competition or long stretch. Bagler's technically only 20 something seconds behind because he's got, he's got the hammer suit. So he's got a solid seven seconds on Booba. It's all up to- dude, it's gonna come down to the hands for this race. <laughs> I, well, I don't think there's been 20 no hands, but there's been quite a bit. Uh, the Bagler 5 is hammered right now. It's wasted. All right, what the crowd wants is Booba to get no hands, but what Booba wants is to get... No, the crowd wants Booba to get a hand, but Booba wants to get no hands. So come on, no hands. Like, you could get- you could go through this entire tournament and get all the way to the semifinals and still get no- um and still get hands in every race, and that's still not, like, bad RNG. Like, that's pretty normal. <gasps> Two hands!
not bad! Not bad, three hands. What the hell are you doing back there, Bagley? Oh, I see. You guys remember the strats people came up with for the uh, don't kill any rocket wrenches? This is the strat. <sighs> Very nice for Booba. Very nice. Who was it yesterday that just could not get 8-1? I think it was Teeks. I think both 8-1s for Teeks yesterday in tournament were just were just awful. Not like, you know, he played crazy bad. He just stood up too fast in the <gasps> Oh no, he doesn't have enough time. Yep. Oh, Bagley. No point for Bagler, but another point for Booba. Very nice combo point for Booba. <laughs> so Bagler could still win this if Booba takes damage after the Fortress. That's possible. Booba with a conveyor P speed, very nice. You know, it sucks because he used the star in 8-1, didn't get the benefit from it, and then doesn't have a star for this level. Very nice. He needed to get that conveyor P-Speed. Did the lifeline make any difference at all for anyone? Of course it did. Teeks and I, Booba, both used their lifelines last night and they ended up getting tied points. So if either runner didn't use their lifeline, they would have lost. It wouldn't have come down to time. Same thing happened with uh, Faropin and um, the Bagler. The Bagler's lifeline didn't necessarily help him, but it did help him tie up in points. Yeah, if Teeks didn't use his um, lifeline, he would have lost yesterday. Hashtag bring point fives back. Dude, I can't have I can't have half numbers in the tournament. People get too fidgety. Yeah, take it slow, Bagler. Very nice for Ibuba. He's going to take the win for game one. It looks like it's going to be 18 to 16, guys. Everyone give Ibuba a nice GG. You know, what's wor the worst thing in a race is to be inside Bowser's castle, right? 
when you're in Bowser's Castle and you look at the Discord or the racetime.gg and you no one's finished the race yet, and then you like enter Bowser's room and then you see somebody else dot done and you're like, shit. Cause like when nobody's finished the race while you're in Bowser's Castle, you have hope that you're gonna win, but you you were never gonna win, right? It's so s Booba, three 18s in a row. Yeah, take a little break, guys. Stretch your legs, grab a snack, go to the bathroom.
And I'm back. Asking them if they're ready. Yo, don't go anywhere after this, because it like right after this match, guys, I have my randomizer tournament matches. I have a match tonight. Two races. SMB3 Rando. It's going to be a little, 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 little bit. So you guys have lots to watch today. Uh, me versus, I think his name is Night Shifter. I already did my first race against uh, True Hyper Mario. Yeah, I think I'm Night Shifter. Yeah. All right, here we go. They are ready. Let's do the countdown. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, go. All right. All right. This is intense, man. Oh, we're still 16. Yeah, I went to the bathroom real quick. Okay, hold on. We're still 16, 16. Uh, what was it? 16 to 18, right? Yeah, I think it was. All right. Here we go. Both runners starting off. Very nice. No mistakes. Oh, I got it backwards? Oh, I can fix that. 16. Alright, moving to two. Moving to one for Ibuba. So Ibuba's probably caught up a little bit already. All right, here we go, MFP Tunnel. Ooh, Bagler getting the early, bro. Okay, so Bagler's probably gonna take the lead back here with uh, two movements of zero. Well, let's see if Booba gets um... Oh, no MFP Tunnel, he needed it. Needed that MFP Tunnel. Bagler, great opportunity to get a lead. He needs to get extra points. It's not gonna help. All right. All right, okay, so both runners do the, uh, so we're gonna scroll down actually, yeah, because they're both past this. Nobody got tunnel, that is correct. I boob again the early fire flyer. Bagler, the wrong throne jump. Team chest three. Oh, nobody's gonna get it, man. The chests have lied to everyone. And Bagler does not get throne jump, and Booba, neither get the throne jump. Hold on one sec, guys.
Yeah, we're gonna have to do something about throne jumps for next season. I don't know exactly what what I want to do, but um, yeah, next season is gonna be next season's gotta be it's gotta be a pretty big step up from season three, uh, somewhat of a pretty decent change as well. You're gonna change it up. Change it up. Ooh, Bagler with a little flip flappy. All right, the, these guys are absolutely even right now on the screen, but I think Booba is in the lead by two, three seconds. All right, but Booba is actually gonna go behind in time here uh, because Bagler gets out of the spade card game very fast and I Booba got his spade right there and so did. Uh. All right, and just like that, like I said, Bagler is out of there. So Bagler enters the level at 507. Booba enters at about a 510, so he's, Booba's about three and a half seconds behind or so. Can you guys believe in this entire tournament out of everyone who's played in the whole tournament? I'm pretty sure we've only had about three people, three points lost to the moat. Three points lost to the moat. I think one of them was last night. I think Teeks. Teeks fell in the moat and took damage at the same time. Oh wow, Bagler with the early, early peace speed. That many? Very funny, man. It's easy to fall in that moat. You can casually fall in there on world record attempts at ease. Oh, I would have screamed IRL. I know, I know some of the things that you would have said, uh, Teeks. Alright, Bagler coming in. The Red Rocket, he just gets his P-Speed back. That was way too close. Oh, and I Booba almost hit. Oh, and Bagler! The damage boost with the uh, with the Red Rocket. That's two times that's happening. Oh, I Booba's got to do... Oh! And that happened to I Booba. Insane, man. Nice. Nice, Bagler. I, I like to see plants growing in quicksand. That's my favorite. Ah, Booba getting forward moving, bro. That's unfortunate. No RNG points for him. I Booba hasn't gotten any RNG points, but he also hasn't gotten any skill points yet. That red rocket really screwed him over there. All right, here we go. Bagler's first hammer, brother. Oh, backwards, bro. Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh man. Why didn't he shoot a fireball? Oh, so scary. Okay, they made it. Uh, Bagley? It looked like he was starting off to be in a pretty rough position, but it looks pretty good now. So Bagler has had one backwards moving bro. And uh, unfortunately, Ibuba has not. Oh my god, the pyramid two times in a row for Bagler has got him. No RNG point. This game is being very mean to both of these runners.
This is this is a very sad looking world one and two for these runners. But it happens. So both runners probably think they're definitely losing now. But they they don't know that they both have the same world one and two going right now. They haven't taken damage yet, so they're in line for world three, which is nice. And don't forget, guys, right after this, guys, right after this match, like instantly, I have my randomizer tournament matches. So stay tuned. Stay tuned. Yeah, there's a co-op world record uh, by me and the Haxer for I think 100% and warpless. It's really good too. We did uh, we did a really good job with that. I I don't know if it's on a restream, uh, Mustard. I don't know if it's on a restream. No jump from either runner. That's unfortunate. Man, these guys could not catch a break. No throne jumps. No frame jumps. Run away, bro! Oh. Ooh, I boob and knock in the early P speed. Bagler did, though. Oh, I booba almost went inside that fish, man. Bagler with the runaway, bro. Not bad. The Bagler's ahead by about three seconds, three or four seconds. Door four for Bagler. Oh, so close. Yep, he's gonna have to avoid fighting that hammer, brother. I mean, I don't think he would anyways. And it looks like iBooba is also gonna do music box list world three as well, which is really nice. Oh no, Bagler is gonna have to use music box. So right there, Booba has a slight advantage. However, Bagler did get an RNG point over Booba. Eh, 
Damn, not bad, not bad. Very nice for Bagler, gets the H jump. Oh, and I Booba just comes up short. Yeah, it, it's really hard to nail the H jump when you like adjust your jump uh, before it. It just really messes with your momentum. Neither runner has taken damage yet, so they they will both get a point here. A glorious, glorious point. So far, Iboob is in second place, though. Uh, every single point is incredibly uh, important right now because Bagler and Boobar are actually tied. Yes, Booba's first point on the board. Ah, my race is restreamed on Speed Gaming 4. Right on, okay. Well, go follow Speed Gaming 4 for tonight's race. After this. I'll still be live though, but I can't have chat open and stuff. Nice, both runners, there you go. They're starting to bring in some of the points now. Starting to bring in some of the points here. That's an okay ha uh, Hammer Brother movement for Bagler. Uh, hopefully he moves back. Nice, both runners get the same thing. A movement to four is what they both want to see because then they might be able to get the Hammer Brother. But they want the movement of four where he goes down and comes back up. Because then he could cross the castle, the fortress, after 4-3, which would be nice. And Bagler doesn't get that, unfortunately. I boob up with the marathon right there. Uh, somebody could go back and double check, but I'm pretty sure that was a marathon. I'm pretty sure that was an exact movement of six for him. Yeah, and that's why we use the star, ladies and gentlemen. And bag. 
Flagler also gets a marathon, but what is these races, man? All right, well, I move is in a much better spot for the cloud than Bagler, because Bagler got a marathon off screen. He has no idea. He has no clue. At least Ibuba knows that both of these Hammer Brothers right here are the P-Wing and the Cloud. They're both right there. And, okay, that's good. Ooh. It's a gamble here. Could be the P-Wing. Nice. Very nice. Oh, and Ibuba's in a rough spot. Whoa! Puts them to sleep. I'm not... Maybe he doesn't know the Hammer Brothers very well. But that was that first one. Should have been the cloud there. Bagler thinking he needs the fire flower. He de definitely does not need it. Okay, so how's this gonna go here? Because Bagler's definitely still in the lead here. So what's gonna happen? Oh yeah, see those two Hammer Brothers walking in the same direction is the P-Wing and Cloud. Same thing from yesterday, man. Yeah, he didn't want to, he didn't want to get that point, right? He, he knows. <sighs> I think, I think Booba did make the right decision. Even though Booba, like that was the cloud and the P-Wing in front of him and the star was far away. But if you guys watched my Warpless Race this morning or this afternoon, you'd also know that like, he was still very close to getting screwed over by a point for time. Right? And, and Ibub is in a position where he needs points because he's not getting points in the early game. Um, so... And they're tied right now. Oh. So that's, uh, that was an intense situation. Don't forget everyone, we have a randomizer tournament match right after this. I have my two races uh, for the qualifiers to get into the randomizer tournament. So yeah, more content. That's right, Human Mustard, if it's a tie. Uh, so Ibuba won his first race and they're tied in points right now. So it's not looking too good for Bagler. In terms of time, right? Bagler needs to get one extra point so that it doesn't come down to time at all. No runners have their lifeline. There's no lifelines anymore. They're all used. Thank God that airship is over. Get rid of that auto scroller. All right, here we go, world five. Whoa, Booba with an amazing fly right there. 289 is nice and Bagler with an amazing fly. 
Very nice. No movement of four for Booba. No movement of four for Bagler. All right, here we go. Very nice for my booba. Oh, that is what Bagler does not need. At least it's not a punishment, right? At least it's not a punishment. So, Booba is going to go down a lot in time. So, that's the kind of thing that Booba needs uh, to stay in the lead here because he's. I don't think. I don't think he's going to win this race in time unless Bagler has some kind of choke. Right? And we, nobody wants anyone to choke in a race, right? So, we're just assuming that that's not going to happen, right? Everyone assumes no one's going to choke here. No movements of four from either runner. They're both in the Twisty Castle. All right, and I boob is gonna go go down by a solid oof 45 seconds at the end of this world. The, the clip death spiral, the clip time spiral. I won't, my I won't, I promise. No commentator curse. I've been a commentator blessing these last few days with the tied tied insane races. Alright, I booba. 5-4. Scariest level in the tournament, I think. Let me ask you, Teeks, from somebody who's in the finals, who's had to do it all season. Everyone who does 5-4 looks all confident, but is 5-4, like, terrifying in the tournament? No, he's not going to make it. He's not going to make it. That's two times now, that level. That is exactly what Bagler needs to not happen. Two Miss Red Rockets and two Miss Koopa Jumps. Uh, they are no longer tied anymore. Um, yeah. Bagler with a movement of four though, that's good. And I don't think iBoob has been getting any movements of four here either. Nice, Bagler getting the P-Speed. Take that point away from Booba. Another movement of four for Bangler. He's got to get those RNG points back, man. He doesn't have a choice. Oh, man, that instant jump. That's so scary. Boob, I swear he almost clipped. Bagler not getting the movement of four though. He still has a couple other options, a couple other chances here. Both runners got early P speed and five five. Bagler not getting that movement of four. That is so annoying. 
when you get two movements of four and you don't clutch that third one out. That stinks, man. Dude, imagine dying in this level. Oof. Am I the commentator for what? Awfully quiet for a third place money match in terms of what, like the amount of points that they have? Yeah, Bagler got two movements of four and I think I booba got one movement of four. That's right. No, I can't I can't do commentary on my own race. Bagler gonna go for the fire kill minips. At 30-47. Art Vandalay. Vandalay Industries. Yeah, guys, we have a big uh, randomizer tournament match coming up right after this that I'm going to be participating in so you get more viewing pleasure. That's right. More tournaments, more games, more everything. All right, Bagler coming into World 6 first. Is he going to get high or low pattern? What is he going to get? He's going to get... Doo -doo. And he gets low pattern. Very nice jump for Bagler. Very nice jump. Uh, Bagler got... I already forget. Bagler got high pattern, right? And Booba got high pattern as well. Yeah, I think both runners got high pattern. It was literally like two seconds ago and I already forget. I need to drink water. Oh, he got low and I Booba got high. Okay. All right, Bagler with the mini marathon. And that is not the Hammer Brother he wants to see. Bagler with the early P speed, that's insane. So this is a really good World 6 so far for Bagler. Uh, same with Booba with that um, Orb Room P speed. Uh, that's on Saturday. Next Saturday is the finals. Ah, uh, this is a horrible spot for them to be in. This is horrible. I just realized uh, Bagler had a really rough world, um, world five there. Really rough. All right, Bagler's in a rough spot here. Bagler does get low pattern. He's gotten two low patterns, so that's not gonna help him at all. No, no RNG point there. Bagler needs these points. Oh, and Bagler is forced, and it's still low pattern. That is the worst. That is horrible. That is really bad RNG for Bagler there. Um, not only was he forced to fight the Hammer Brother and get the star, which means he doesn't get that point, but he had another opportunity for high and low. 
and begged. I Booba also gets top pattern, so he's not gonna get that point either, but uh, Booba is going to get no star. Very nice. Bagler can't get the same. So this is um this is looking a little rough here for Bagler. Having to take that time cut there in this fortress by losing his leaf early. Had to take the long route, uh, giving Ibuba a great opportunity to catch up here, so. And Bagler has no leaf, so he has nothing to use, but neither does Booba. And we're coming up to shared points. I mean, Bagler could get the clip, right? But as it stands, Bagler is actually four points away from uh, winning. Bagley's gonna be the first at wall jump. Does he get first try? He does get first try. That's gonna make it very hard for Ibuba. All right, Bagler gets floor clip and first try wall jump. Pretty nutty. Unless Ibuba takes it from him. Oh, he could have. He didn't get it though. No floor clip. Nice try, though. Nice try. Oh, what the heck was that, Bagler? What's going on here? All right, Booba's last stand here. Last chance for the clip. He's already gotten it once this season. Oh, ho, ho, ho. he almost got it. He almost got that. That was crazy, he almost got it. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. All right, they're both on the airship, going into World 7. Does anyone know exactly how many points this entire season were generated? That'd be pretty cool to know. That'd be, that'd be pretty cool to know. Oh, you kept tabs? Nice, dude. It's teaks with the stats. Bagler not gonna go for the fire kill. I was trying to figure out for like a minute what my what the hell my is talking about, but I see it. Static sticks. That's right. All right, here we go. Seven one. Oh, not first try. Not second try. Not third try. Fourth try. Ooh, I booba with the wall rub. Not second try. Nah, third try, very nice. Wasted, you died.
No pipe to pipe, but no bumps, though. Here comes the punishment level. No pipe to pipe for Booba, either. No bonk for Bagler! No punishment either! Very nice, 182. Booba doesn't get the 183. Oh, Bagler didn't get first try. Bagler needed first try there. Gets a third try though. <gasps> Booba did not take damage there. Uh oh. No way. Oh my gosh! Oh my goodness, dude. What is that? With the tail, too? That's insane, man. And I don't know. Oh, I Booba could have died there, man. That was way too scary. Using the star, not a bad idea. Uh, has Booba bumped or bonked? No bonks. Yeah, Bagler. I mean, Bagler's already awarded and Booba's already punished right now for second place. So, I mean, I don't know, man. I don't know how this works. And Booba. No bump either. Booba, no bump. Right? So I, I don't know how Bagler is going to bring back three points. Is Bagler, Teeks, is Bagler on pace for 53 if he gets no hands? Who doesn't switch tabs during auto scrollers? You can still hear me, right? But you just you don't have to watch auto scrollers. What 
What constitute a sub 54? I think it's possible, isn't it? Yeah, I think Bagler can get a sub-54. Yeah, but right now he's plus 30 on a 53-42 and he got two hands on the 53-42. Unless I'm crazy. So how could Bagler win this? What are our options here, guys? What are our options? Booba has to have some kind of choke or take some deaths. Yeah, that too. I mean, Bagler right now is three points behind. So if he gets combo and conveyor, he still needs to get two more to take the win. Uh, he's already been awarded for first place, and Booba is um, in second, so there's no difference in points there. Also, just a reminder, everyone who's already here, if you want more content, I'm doing randomizer races right after this. My randomizer race literally starts in six minutes. So, as soon as this is over, I gotta switch right over, and then we get more races. But this is randomizer tournament races for me. So... For your viewing pleasure, ideally. That's right. Mm. Yeah, the tournament, man. I always join the yearly, the yearly randomizer tournament. Scroller land. I want to be an auto scroller. Yo, BTL makes what up, man? We gave you a juicy shout out yesterday. Total points so far, not continuing, not counting this race, 1,315 this season. Wow, that's a lot of points. Wow, that's a lot of points. Holy crap. Nobody wants to be an auto-scroller, that's right. I don't think Bagler's ever gotten no hands in this tournament, so come on, game! Actually, I think Bagler's gotten no hands. Teeks would Teeks would know. <laughs> Backside of water. Oh, if I if I Booba gets no hands, wow, what a turn! Let's see. Oh. Yeah. 
Yeah, they got the same hand stages. We're starting off hot with the combo points. I got lost in train of thought there, guys, for like solid like 40 seconds. I was lost. I was gone on a crazy adventure that lasted forever. All right. I booba almost died there, guys. Oh, oh he gets stopped. Goes back, takes damage. Bagler does get the combo point. Hi, Booba is not having a good time. I definitely think he's throwing a little bit. Doesn't know that he's still winning. Thinks he's losing. Uh, is that conveyor P speed? Like, I think it is because it's like the earliest conveyor P speed. Uh, we're going to have to ask the other runners for that. He, t he like he got conveyor P speed, right? I mean, <laughs> weird, but like. I think it counts, because he strategically used P-Speed in the first room. Well, we don't know for sure if it was, like, absolutely strategic, but... That's not how I ruled in World 4. We're not in World 4, so... I don't, I don't, I'm not sure why we'd apply World 4 rules. He got P-Speed on the conveyor! Um, so it's... <laughs> yeah, I think I Boop is having a pretty rough time right now. Does get conveyor P-Speed, though. Does get conveyor P-Speed. I mean, Bangalore's going to win this race, but he's not going to win the third place. Uh, he's still two points behind. Yes, he'll win the race, but unfortunately lose the match. Not over until it's over. That's right. I mean, if I Booba dies, then Bangalore's one point behind. The first race, once again, determines the winner. Feels like the first race really sets the tone for who wins. Did you watch the last two races for the semis? Because that's not at all how it went. There you go, Old Man Beauty Locks. He never won his first match, but he won three rounds. He made it to the quarterfinals. <laughs> so again, more logic. 
It's just coming from people who watch like three races and they're like, oh, this, that. Yo, give a GG to the Bagler. Uh, winning this match, however, unfortunately behind. Unfortunately still behind by two points. One thousand three hundred thirty-nine points generated in the tournament so far. That's insane. That's insane. Iboob is in the last spot here. I thought he short jumped there. Yeah, for these two runners, a pretty low scoring round. But I mean, they're only a couple points off from the first round as well. Technically, Iboob got three races in a row with eighteen points, and then this one he got fourteen. So like, this is kind of. Yeah, we got 14 to 14, right? Very nice. So let me let me just go ahead and, and, and say something here for a lot of people who who have I guess mixed opinions about the way that the tournament works. If you lose your first race, right, and you can't catch up in your second race. You're obviously the worst player of the two, and you deserve to lose, right? Like, I think a lot of people want there to be a situation where if you lose the first race, like, you have a massive chance to win the second race. If you're the worst player, and you're losing, then you're gonna lose. It, like, like, someone has to lose, right? So if you go behind too many points in the first race and you can't catch up in the second race, well, that's just the way it goes, right? I mean, like, there's no there's no mathematical equation here that's going to help runners lose the first race but help them in the second race. It's like, there's nothing we can do here, right? So, and then, then that's, that's why we get quarterfinals and semifinals be really good because the better players advance. That's just the way it goes. I would very, very much like it if every race came down to the way the semifinals have been in the last two days. I would love every race to be like that, but it doesn't work out like that. <laughs> It's just the way it is, man. People lose. And it's, uh, there's obviously people who are way better. And there's obviously people who are way worse. And eventually, they're going to have to go up against each other. It's just the way it goes. But give a massive GG, guys, to iBooba for coming in third place. Prizing in at $200. Right on.